I love oil painting. Welcome back to the studio. If you're new, I'm Slu. First off, I want to talk about me not being a teacher. Oil painting for beginners. I'm not a teacher. I just think I have some good insight on how to learn. So let's talk about it. I get dozens and dozens of questions every week. Where did I learn to oil paint? What paint do I buy? Bristle brushes versus synthetic. What are good techniques? How do you improve? And you know, I've only really started painting in the last two years. You know, this is actually the first oil painting I've ever done. It was at an art class in New York City, September 10th, 2018. But before that, I was drawing pretty seriously and painting acrylics pretty seriously. So my transition to oils was a bit easier, but I never touched the paint until two years ago. And I was that same person asking a zillion questions, Googling everything about oil, the mediums, the brushes, mixing colors, color theory, how to do portrait painting, all the techniques. And there's a lot of things, you know, it's very nuanced. It's, it's a bit more manual than acrylic paint. I always give the analogy that acrylic paint is like an automatic car and oil painting is like a manual car. There's just a few more things you need to kind of get under your belt to kind of really be able to use the medium, the wonderful, delicious medium that is oil paint. And so my goal with this video is to really actually oversimplify the approach to oil painting, you know, to really lay out a, a more basic path towards improvement rather than explain every little thing. And so I'm gonna to lean towards the academic route that's how I learned um, the atelier I went to in New York City, but there's no one way to paint. There's no correct way to draw. This is just my experience and how I've laid out a path for my own improvement. I'm just sharing that. Take it with a grain of salt. Oversimplifying, remember? Okay, so we got these categories of knowledge and experience. Within the knowledge bundle, we have these core concepts, these fundamental properties of oil painting and representing nature. We're specifically talking about portraiture, figurative drawing. And so you have color theory, you have value, how light hits objects, you have fundamental basic drawing techniques, you have how to observe properly. And so these are kind of like, again, the concepts and analytical knowledge to absorb and internalize to then implement in the actual experience of painting. Experience category, self-explanatory, actually putting hours in, getting familiar with holding your paintbrush, using the paint, how to load your paintbrush, what the paint reacts with different mediums, different you know uh, canvases, things like that, really getting familiar with the physical properties of the painting process. Now you can read every book ever on color theory and value and read every book on the master painters and not be able to successively paint if you just paint once a month for a few hours. And same with experience. If you're painting every day for 10 years, you might not see a lot of improvement. Again, you might be able to do both either way, but in my opinion, really progressing in both, you know, studying and gaining knowledge and internalizing that knowledge of concepts and then working hard consistently for a long time, for many months and years, you'll be able to really, um, improve in a unified whole way huge rant and guess what i'm not going to be teaching you value or explaining color theory because again i'm not a teacher this is just how i break things down we live in an amazing time where there are master painters living making videos on youtube about all of these things caesar santos andrew tischler james gurney draw mix paint proco i follow these guys and many more and i I'm constantly on YouTube looking up different portrait painting demos, different, you know, master painters explaining concepts because it's just free knowledge and it's out there. And uh, it's just up to you to obtain that knowledge, internalize it, and then put in the work to really practice. And if you're someone who learns better with curriculum and assignments, Skillshare can really help you out. Skillshare is the sponsor of today's video. It's an online learning community with thousands of different classes, ranging from entrepreneurial skills, photography, painting and drawing, everything in between. And they are taught by the leading professionals in those disciplines. They have amazing classes ranging from all different skill levels, whether you're just at home looking for new hobbies or like this video you clicked on because you really want to improve in this passion. There's a few great classes I would recommend for the people who are watching my types of videos. The first one is Mastering Illustration by the homie Jazza, who's another fellow YouTuber. He's an amazing artist, taking you through all the steps of illustrating and color. Another great class I always recommend that's very applicable to this sort of stuff is Techniques for Pencil Portraits. 
really just core fundamentals like we're talking about how to attack a portrait. The Skillshare classes have discussion boards, they have individual assignments, you know, the whole online resource is really curated to learn. And comparing Skillshare to in-person classes is really a no-brainer, you know, with less than $10 a month with their annual membership, you know, the value um, that Skillshare has is just worth every penny. Skillshare is awesome, and like, I don't put sponsorships in my videos unless I really think they're gonna help the people who are watching my videos and are very applicable to the people. And so the first 1,000 people who click the link in the video description will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. I think it's a really great deal and it could really help you progress and perpetuate the learning we're talking about. All right, thanks Skillshare for sponsoring the video. We're gonna start with this painting of Padme, but we start with the drawing. And so we begin with some drawing. You know, one of the major bullet points of both of those categories within knowledge and experience is drawing. The knowledge of fundamentals, of drawing form, perspective, kind of getting volume in there, and then obviously just practice drawing a lot within the experience. So for painting projects like these, I always love to draw. I don't draw enough. I was actually going live here on Patreon. There's the live setup. I paint live every week. Um, so check it out if you're interested, but yeah, I love drawing don't do it enough But for these painting projects love to get the grease off the elbows So here we go. And like I said, I'm not gonna teach um, But we'll talk about all these techniques and we'll talk about some of the materials because that's another area people get so Overwhelmed with as did I when I was starting out. It was like my biggest Issue is like there's so many materials. There's so many colors. Which paint do I buy? I would start if you're beginning start with a limited palette start with any yellow red or blue maybe a black obviously white you can make any color from those colors why because they're the primary colors um, cheap paint I use 80% cheap paint gambling is fine brushes synthetic versus bristle ask you know local artists or people at the art store you want the long handle and I would suggest just only getting a few you don't need more than three uh, a, a big medium and small brush that's all you really need to work with odorless mineral spirits to clean the brushes and then uh, a little linseed oil I don't even use linseed oil much in paintings I just use it right out of the tube oil paint is actually just made of you know pigment and linseed oil that's all oil paint is so linseed oil kind of just helps it uh, lower the viscosity and there's different drying times and there's loads of other um, you know mediums but you don't need to worry about any of it with, when starting out um, so we are just rock and roll. I'm trying to put in a really loose outline to just frame beautiful Natalie Portman Padme on to the canvas. And so talking about these strategies again of learning, um, like even maybe through the things I've said, you people might already feel overwhelmed. But the number one thing um, before the knowledge is kind of just working you just got to put the paint on the palette and you got to start painting whether you think it's the worst thing in the world you're gonna you're gonna progress you're gonna move past it you just need to remove the hesitation and just try it you just need to jump in and then worrying about progressing and all the other nuance obviously comes with time so i think my number one recommendation is to just get out there get your little materials you don't need much a couple tubes a couple brushes and just start to paint um, and so that's like the, the the biggest thing and I think that's why I I've learned a lot in the last two years I obviously have infinite amount to learn but you know one of my big things is like I'm really obsessed and so I've painted a lot over the two years by myself for myself just because I want to speak this language more fluently and I'm really passionate about improving and I, I, I also extremely love it I really enjoy painting so it's it helps me to put in the hours and paint, but you gotta make goals for yourself. And I think that's a really um, a really good way to give more context and how to improve is make monthly goals, make yearly goals. Like I'm gonna paint five portraits in this month. You know, I'm gonna paint for two hours every day on the week and the weekends you could take time off and make simple um, obtainable goals to kind of lead to a bigger um, general goal, which is over the year, you know, look back and maybe you have 20, 30 paintings and, you know, then you got that much more experience and, and watch videos and learn about color theory, do color exercises, mix paint. That's why I said start off with a limited palette because it actually helps you mix paint and learn how to um, deal with different colors and stuff. 
And so that's just all what I think. And obviously people will be more passionate and more enthusiastic about learning to others. And if it's just a hobby, that's good too. Just have fun, paint a lot because it's fun. But if you're really trying to improve and you're really trying to, you know, paint portraits and paint realistically and things like that, incorporating realistic lighting and anatomy and proportions, all these things you have to study and you have to train and you have to consistently work on. I feel like a broken record. And I also don't, I, I don't usually like giving advice, but these are the things I think and I say to myself. So that's why I'm kind of explaining it. But look, we're already so far. I haven't even talked about this painting. Um, something cool about this is, first of all, this is a, a wet on wet painting, which means one painting session, a la prima, the paint never dries. Um, and I'm working very blotchy, very loose, big paint brushes. That's what I've been trying to stick with. Um, and the, the, why this painting is so beautiful is because it's, it's got this wonderful shining golden light on the right side of her face in the light. So that's what I was really trying to encapsulate in this quick little painting sketch. Um, at the end, I think I achieve it. You know, I kind of, oh man, I just fumble around. I'm not the most efficient painter. You know, I think my skills of ob observation and observing value and then choosing correct value and mixing correct colors. I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty strong in that um, aspect, but then really putting it onto the painting efficiently and in the correct order and the, you know, the order of operations, I'm kind of inefficient in that way. I paint over a lot of things constantly, which is fine. A lot of people do that, but you know, I'm never, I never strike gold the first paint stroke. I kind of have to wiggle everything around and maneuver, which is fine. Um, it's just a process of learning, but that's something that I do a lot. So I struggled actually in the beginning to kind of find the features and moving everything around. But um, this painting is so beautiful. I had it such a blast and it's just simple. You could also see I'm trying to play with um, cool shadows and warm highlights. You know, when I was putting in that shadow to her face, it looked almost uh, gray and it still looks gray here, but it, it's a very colder um, kind of take on the actual portrait, I think, or in the actual movie of Star Wars, I wanted it to be this purpley bluish um, gray. Um, and that's just something fun to do. And then really go in with some warm highlights to kind of accentuate that uh, golden light, the golden highlights that are on here. And that, that was kind of my main goal. But other than that, you know, this is actually also a bigger portrait. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And usually I work a little smaller for these practice sketches, which is just for me. It's not to sell, it's not a commission, not in any gallery. It's just for me to practice, have fun, make these videos. And I usually paint like 11, on, by 14, which is a bit smaller. Don't use as much paint. So this 16 by 20 is a little bigger than I'm used to for practicing. And you obviously are using a lot more paint. So this actually took a, a bit longer than I expected. And I always get carried away with these practice sessions. I, I tell myself, oh, I'm gonna spend, you know, two, three hours uh, and just get something down quickly. And then it ends up being like five or six or seven um, painting all day into the night, but that's because I'm just listening to fun podcasts. I have bad friends and your mom's house, two comedians, um, comedian podcasts I love. And I just, you know, get in the zone, having so much fun. Um, and the stage we're at right now, we're pretty good. Look at like, everything's kind of there. It's very blotchy. It's not super neat. It's a little sloppy, but we're putting in the cherry on top that all oil painters live for. The final highlights, the kind of specular stuff, uh, mixing a lot of white, not too much though, with some beautiful colors and uh, and yeah, still using a really big paintbrush. But so this is like, I think this is just um, important to note that I'm just doing this to practice. Like again, the agenda, I'm not trying to show friends, I'm not trying to sell anything. This is strictly to improve so that when I get commissions or when I really wanna do a portrait of my grandmother or something like that. I'll be, I'll be well, well trained and well practiced to execute. So yeah, I ended painting at about midnight, just a super quick, um, portrait, I think, well, not super quick, but it, it was just a blast just for practice. I hope, um, that I didn't rant too hard and I explained some things and, uh, we'll talk about some more right now. Boom. We did it. You know, this painting of Padme is not my best painting ever. It's a little sloppy. It's a little messy. You know, if something's off with the lips or something, I don't know, but um, it was successful because I put in the hours and I put in the work. Um, it was super fun and it's just, you know, more XP points. That's how I think about it. You know, every painting can't be your best painting. You just try to get more experience points to level up 
you know, after six months. I always think about it in kind of six months or less, three months um, at a time. You level up, you learn more, you obtain more knowledge and experience and you move forward to speak the language more fluently. The point of this video was really to just kind of like oversimplify oil painting and talk about how amazing it is and to really make it approachable for people who are on the edge or have been interested but are too overwhelmed like I was. Again, I was that exact person, you know, a few years ago and I really just took a step forward. I had some mistakes and I learned things all along the way but, um, and I'm still learning and it's just so fun. I'm so glad. I wish I just started <coughs> oil painting sooner. That's my only regret. And so, you know, let me know in the comments if there's other things you want to learn about. This is, again, a very generalized version of kind of improvement in oil painting. You know, the most base layer, general themed sort of rant. Um, but check out those guys I talked about. I'll link them in the description. The Amazing Oil Painters with more resources about information, painting demos. YouTube's an amazing place. It's pretty much where I learned everything. That's all I got. If you stayed to the end of the video, I love you. By the way, check out the new hoodie. Hoodies, beanies coming first week of January. Um, I'm super excited. We'll talk more about it later. There's a big story behind it. It's super awesome. <whistles> See you in the next video.